Hello everyone, welcome back to iRender. In this video, we're gonna render a Cinema 4D project with Octane Render Engine. This project will be rendered on a 6RTX 3090s server from iRender Cloud. As you can see in the first one of the list here, we already set up a remote server with Cinema 4D and Octane. If you are a newbie, just create a new server image and select a server package type. My advice for Cinema 4D and Octane projects is you should take advantage of multiple GPU rendering, such as 6RTX 3090s. Before booting the server image, we need to transfer the scene files. We'll use the iRender free transfer tool, called GPU Hub Sync. To transfer files on our personal computer, we just drag and drop the data here. It's really convenient, as all files we upload to this app, then will be synced with the Z drive of the remote server we connect. Next, boot the image. It may take 5 minutes to boot. This process may take longer, according to the server image size. Once the image is booted successfully, click the connect button to download the remote desktop connection file. Then enter the credentials to connect to the remote server. We're on the remote server. Notice that instead of network drives like X or Z drive, it's optimal to work everything on hard drives like C or desktop in order to prevent the project from being crashed. So, copy the project folder to desktop before opening it. As we mentioned, this Cinema 4D project is already set up to render with the Octane Render Engine. Setting the output path should be in the C drive as well, to avoid getting corrupted. While rendering, we can check how the 6RTX 3090s work in Task Manager. The rendering process is complete. We check the output files. OK, now move the output folder to Z drive. The purpose is to sync these rendered files to GPU Hub Sync. When everything is done, shut down the remote server in the iRender console. The final step is just to open the GPU Hub Sync app and download the result folder to the personal computer. To sum up, we rendered a Cinema 4D project with Octane Renderer on the 6RTX 3090 server. Render 300 frames in total, the render time is 1 hour 38 minutes. That's all about the video today. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you for watching, we'll see you in the next video. I render, happy rendering.